start. Hi, it's Heather Brown Harding, and today we're going to go over the Zeiss V16 Axiozoom. It is a type of common main objective stereo microscope and will have very similar parts with other companies. So the first thing to notice is we have these very large objectives and like the name says, we have light, both light paths coming through these objectives. This one has an objective turret so you can change the objective easily. And the light path will be coming up through the body of the microscope. Um, up to we have a dual camera system or eyepieces. Now what is special about a common main objective microscope versus a Grinnell microscope is that because of the formation of the light we are actually able to put a fluorescent turret in here. And this is powered by our, our HXP200. This is a metal halide light source comes in through here and we have our filter cubes and we can bounce it off, come back up and collect. The reason we have two cameras on this is that we have one that's a color camera for anyone doing something that they may actually want to see the pigment of the, the color pigment, as well as a monochrome camera which is more sensitive so that we can do our fluorescent imaging with this. This microscope has a stage that is manual so we just have our little thumb screws here. But over here, we have a variety of different ways to light from a transmitted standpoint, as well as we have an LED ring light to illuminate from above when that is the better um, option. And then for the Z direction, we actually control that with what's called the Psycop. And this has a little joystick as well as different scroll wheels to be able to use this microscope. With that touch screen we can actually do the zooming in. Depending on the objective we can go um, from about 7x all the way to about 120x and that is more or less equivalent to a compound microscope having a say 12x objective. So that gives you an idea of the different magnifications you have but one of the special things is it has very large field of view so that we can see a large part of a plate with yeast colonies. And with that we can come in and look at some of the parts more closely. And now that we're close in, we can actually look at the different parts of the microscope on the one side. So when I open this up here, you can actually see the different filter cubes. And I will put this back on. And then with this particular microscope, it knows what filter cubes are there and we'll go through and make sure that we haven't made any adjustments. And while we're up here, right here is just our moving from eyepiece to camera. And then working our way down, we have our ring light that we can turn on. And we have our control for our transmitted light right here, so I can turn off the shutter. And as we can adjust to um, best contrast and dark field and adjust the mirror within there. So turn that off again. And then over to the side cop three. This, when we press the microscope button, this is where we have our, our different um, zoom factors. And you just press it, zoom in, a lot of times it won't be perfectly in focus because you have a smaller depth of field as you zoom in and you'll just have to do fine focusing with this knob right here. And those are the basics of the V16 stereo microscope.